will do a quick comparison of Celeron N2830 and the Celeron 2955U. The biggest thing that you would need to know about these two processors is that the 2955U belongs to the S12 series while N2830 belongs to the Bay Trail series. There's a lot of difference between the uh, architecture of these two and if you know about the atom you know what we are talking about n2830 it was basically a low power and low performance a series of processors that intel in originally intended for uh, for netbook types of uh, notebooks which were not really notebooks but the smaller processor with better battery life and good enough for the internet web surfing and document editing so on and so forth as well was their main line now that being said the the n2830 is has a bigger clock frequency but the because of the haskell architecture even with the lower clock frequency at 1.4 gigahertz the Celeron 2955u performs better note the so Celeron 2955u does not have a overclocking or turbo or turbo but it still performs better you look at the next figure this is actually should be to 1.4 gigahertz anyway let's take a look at the past mark you can see that the Celeron 2955u is 1.5 times the uh, Celeron N2830 but we also need to know that even though the N2830 is low in performance it has better it's better in the you know, TDP rating the thermal power rating that's 7.5 watts so if your battery life and slim processor slim notebook is your intention you might want to go with n2830 but remember you will not get the performance and you will uh, have to uh, do with it it's usually good if you are not doing something very high end on processing performance let's take a quick look at their comparison on intel website as we told this Celeron n2830 with higher clock frequency but mm, lower in performance and 2955u is as well uh, 2830 has been recently launched, has been a while since Haskell has launched. Uh, let's take it as we say, the price performance is both of them have same. So in the, and in that scene, that being the case, it makes a lot of sense. You go with the Celeron 2955U unless you have to have a low TDP rating. You really are care for the battery life and so on and so forth. Um, the integrated graphics is way better for the Haswell as compared to the, um, the Intel um, Intel's uh, HD and 230. Now, other than that, it depends upon your budget and the specific laptop, which one you are looking for, what's the comparable price, and so on and so forth. Hope that this review is helpful for you. Thank you.